everyone, it's Katie, and today we're going to learn a fingerstyle melody of the intro to Hey Jude. So this is going to be a fingerstyle option for you to add to part number two, which is coming up soon. Part number two is going to contain a more simple finger picking pattern with the entire song and the play along. So let's get started. Wait, before we get started, something that you need to note is that I'm holding my ukulele up here at a 45 degree angle. That is the proper technique to do so when you're playing. But for split screen purposes, I have to keep my uke down this way parallel to the floor so that you can see what I'm doing. So first let's find a G chord. Finger number three is going to be on the third fret of the E string. And then fingers one and two will be on the second fret of the A and the C string. Now add your pinky to the fifth fret. This might be a stretch for you, but there it is. Pinky to the fifth fret. And we have a G chord with a pinky, I'm going to call it. And then release your pinky to play a full G chord. So we have, hey Jude, do you hear that? Now we have an arpeggio. So my thumb is going to pluck the C string, then my pointer finger, the E string, then my middle finger, the A string. So we have arpeggio, thumb, pointer, middle, and then we strum again. So let's try that pinky, G chord, fifth fret, G chord, arpeggio. Now from here, you play the A string, because it's already on the second fret right there, so you don't need to do anything. A string, then pinky to the fifth fret of the A string. Now slide up to the seventh fret of the A string. So let's try that. We have second, five, slide to the seven. Now here's an island D7. So I take my focus box, haha, -ha, fingers two and three, and that's going to be on the second fret of the G and the E string. And then another arpeggio, thumb pointer middle, now add your pinky to the third fret of the A string. So we have two, five, seven, D seven. Arpeggio, pinky on the third fret. Okay. So let's try that together. One and two and three and Now, from here, I release my pinky and I play the regular island D7, add my pinky to the second fret of the A string, and then kick it out to the third fret. So, regular D7, pinky, kick it out to the third fret. Now from here, I'm going to slide to the 10th fret. Now, you could slide from the seventh fret, just a little bit closer, you don't have to slide all the way down from fret number three. That's a little much. So I start at the seventh fret. Now from here, I'm going to leave my pinky here and then my ring finger is going to be on the 10th fret of the E string. I'm gonna strum them at the same time or you can pluck them. So let's try take a sad song. So D7, pinky, third fret, Slide, 10th fret. Now together, or strum. Now I like to take my pinky down to the ninth fret of the A string, and then point your finger to the fifth fret. So we have island D7, second fret, third fret, slide to the 10th fret. Now 10 and 10, nine, Five. So let's try that. One and two and three and. Now, 
this has to be my favorite part. I'm going to take my focus fox again. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be on the fifth thread and I'm going to pluck them with my pointer finger and my middle finger and I'm going to slide up to the seventh fret. So I pluck the strings and then I drag them across the frets all the way to the seventh fret. You get a nice slide there. So I slide, then I go back to the fifth fret, slide down to the third fret, and then I find a G chord, and then an arpeggio. So thumb pointer middle, then we strum that G chord. So let's go from the D7. So we have open, second fret, third fret, slide to the 10th fret. Now 10 and 10 together, nine, five. Slide, 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 G chord. So we have five to seven, five, three, G chord, arpeggio. So let's try that together. One and two and three and One and two and three and now when we get to the remember da -da 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 -da. all right so find that g chord with the pinky and we strum all of our strings now from here Plant your pointer finger on the third fret of these two strings, and then your pinky is going to be on the seventh fret of the A string. And I'm going to play these three strings right here. So I'm going to avoid that G string. Now you may be thinking like, hey Katie, how come you're you know playing both of these right here? It's just a little bit easier. I mean, you could try to rock your finger up but you see how like my wrist just pops a little bit this way? Might be a little bit easier just to push down on both strings. So I'm gonna give you that option, choose your own adventure, but for me, this just suits me. So we have our G with the pinky, and then we have seven and three. Now we have 12, and then 12 and 10. Now from here, I'm gonna take my focus fox, yay. It's the focus fox piece right here. And <laughs> it's going to be on the 12th fret of the A and the E string. Now you can pluck them if you'd like to or strum them. And then my pointer finger is going to go to the 10th fret of the A string and lift off your ring finger. So we have like that. Pointer finger will come back to the 9th fret of the A string then the 10th fret, 7th fret. All right, so let's try from remember. So we have G with the pinky. We have seven and three, 12, 12, 10, nine, seven, and then G with the pinky. So we started that fr that phrase with a G with a pinky, and then we ended it with a G with a pinky. So hopefully you'll be able to remember that. Let's try that together. One and two and three and four. Four. 
Now from here, we have third fret of the E string. So if you already have your G down, perfect, it's right there. Now open A string, second fret of the A string. So try that, we have three, zero, two. Now from here, this is when bringing your ukulele up at a 45 degree angle is beneficial. I'm going to bar these three right here on the second fret and pinky will be on the seventh fret of the A string. So let's try that. Fifth fret. And then here we have a D7 with a pinky. And then second fret of the A string. And then your ring finger is already here on the second fret of the E string and then slide up to the third fret. So we have three, zero, two, lovely stretch, fifth fret, five, D7 with the pinky, third fret, second fret, and then here's your ring finger, slide to the third fret, arpeggio. So we have the thumb pointer middle on the G chord right here. So we have then you can start. Let's try it. Ready? One and two and If you have a tenor ukulele, I'm praying for you <laughs> because that stretch, I can't imagine that. <laughs> but, you know, also my fingers are rather, I'm a rather petite human being. So, you know, for me, for a tenor, that might be a little bit much. But I have a concert for those of you that have long, wonderful fingers. Thumbs up to you.